I know your works. You have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen what remains and what is about to die, for I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember then what you received and heard. Keep it and repent. If you will not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come against you. Revelation 3 verses 1 to 3 Here are just four reasons why the return is so critical and why the time is now, guys. And I center on America because America basically runs the world, like it or not. What America does, Canada does, and most other countries follow suit. The course that America and much of the world is on, the upcoming election, the shaking of the virus, the need for world revival. Without revival, America and its future will be lost. Therefore, we have a window of time we may never have again. Most of us don't want to look at the negative. I have compiled 16 facts that prove America is in deep trouble. 1. When Ronald Reagan won his first election, the US national debt was like a little less than $1 trillion, I believe. When Barack Obama entered the White House, what was the debt? It sat at about $10.6 trillion. When the Republicans took control of the House of Representatives back in 2010, it was about $14 trillion. And now, you guys have reached $25 trillion mark, and it's climbing due to COVID-19 aid. We've been stealing money from our children and our grandchildren at the rate of more than $100 million per hour. 2. In 1956, approximately 5% of all babies in the United States were born to unmarried mothers. Today things have drastically changed. 2008 was the first year in the United States history when 40% of all babies were born to unmarried mothers. We stayed at that level for 8 straight years. Number 3. In the early 1970s, well over 60% of all Americans were considered to be middle class, but in 2015 that number dipped below 50% for the first time ever. 4. In 2001, nearly 16 million Americans could not afford the homes that they were living in, but by 2015 that number had more than doubled. 5. Our system of public education is a complete mess. A study of millennials in 22 major industrialized nations conducted by the Educational Testing Service found that only two countries were worse than the US when it came to literacy proficiency, and the US was dead last in math. Fact number 6 In the early 1970s, 70% 70 of all men in the United States from the age of 20 to the age of 39 were married, but today that number has fallen to just 35%. Instead of getting married and starting families, many young men are still living at home with their parents. In fact, today 35% of all young men from the age of 21 to 30 are living at home with their parents or a close relative. 7. Many Americans don't realize this, but the United States has the highest rate of illegal drug use on the entire planet. But they actually have an even bigger problem with legal drugs. According to a study conducted by the Mayo Clinic, nearly 70% of all Americans are on at least one prescription drug, and an astounding 20% of all Americans are on at least five prescription drugs. Fact 8 According to the CDC, 110 million Americans currently have a sexually transmitted disease, and there are approximately 20 million new STD cases in the United States every single year. 9. Thanks to decades of unchecked illegal immigration, membership in criminal gangs has absolutely exploded over the country. Today there are more than 150,000 gang members living in the city of Chicago alone, and they outnumber the police by more than 10 to 1. Number 10. Today there are more than 4 million adult websites on the internet, and they get more traffic than Netflix, Amazon, and Twitter combined. Addiction to these websites has become a major national crisis, and yet very little is being done. One major survey found that 64% of all Christian men in America view adult material at least once a month, and a different major survey found that 68% of all Christian men in America view adult material on a regular basis. 11. 
When federal income tax was introduced in 1913, it was fairly simple and most taxpayers were taxed at a rate of just 1%. Today, the tax code is more than 2 million words long, and the regulations are more than 7 million words long. Fact 12. The government continues to waste money in absolutely insane ways. For example, the US military actually spends $42 million a year on Viagra. 13. We are an extremely, extremely unhappy nation. If you can believe it, doctors in the United States write more than 250 million prescriptions for antidepressants each year. 14. Back in 2007, 54% of all Americans were opposed to gay marriage and only 37% wanted it to be legalized. Today over 62% of all Americans support gay marriage and only 32% are still against it. 15. The average rate of economic growth over the past 10 years has been exactly equal to the average rate that the US economy grew during the 1930s. We were stunned when we discovered the US economy had only grown at an average yearly rate of just 1.3% over the past 10 years, and that is the exact same average yearly rate that the US economy grew during the decade of the 1930s. 16. Since Roe vs. Wade was decided in 1973, nearly 60 million American children have been murdered in America's abortion mills. Sadly, the number of children aborted each day in this country is roughly equal to the number of Americans who lost their lives on 9-11. We are now in a critical time, especially for people in America. I believe that we have been warned. God in his mercy has afforded us a time of reprieve to turn and repent for our land to be spared from destruction. It's a Nineveh moment. The return is a chance for America and the rest of the world to turn back to God just like Nineveh. The return, I think, is a gathering to spark a movement, guys, to gather, to fast, to pray, and to repent for our wickedness. Yet now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents over disaster. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God? Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people. Consecrate the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, even nursing infants. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her chamber. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare your people, O Lord, and make not your heritage a reproach, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? And that reading was from Joel chapter 2 verses 12 to 17. Thanks for watching guys. God bless you all and your families.